This video is sponsored by MessyModdingStore.com. If you're looking for in-game services like Reddit Online Cash or Gold Bars or GTA Money, GTA Modded Accounts, like GTA Online with billions of dollars of cash and pretty much everything in the game, go and check their website out. They have services for all major games. You can even sell them your accounts. Hey, how's it going, guys? So today I present to you a brand new method for infinite gold bars, money, and XP glitch, which doesn't require you to change your MTU. It doesn't require you to change anything with your internet settings. So good news for Xbox and PC players, because I know you guys have been struggling with like changing your MTU and stuff. But as you can see right here, I'm in a public lobby. I'm in a uh, populated lobby, I mean. And so first of all, you'll want to get over here to this location right here close to blackwater so just fast travel to blackwater and then make your way over here so first of all we'll want our camp somewhere in the heartlands area close to flat neck station it can be anywhere so just stand here and the best way to get your camp close to ca flat neck station would be to set your camp at heartlands from this position right here so like I said, this is a brand new method. This doesn't require you to change your MTU settings. Doesn't require you to uh, use the change appearance method either. This one is, uh, this one will take a couple of minutes longer, but it's absolutely 100% consistent. So after this, you'll want to either open the Bard's Crossing map or the Burn Town. I was initially going to use the Burn Town, but as you can see, it's giving me a message which says you, you cannot open a treasure map at this time. So I was wondering what happened. The problem was I have another like coin map opened on my map as you can see and the coin is basically overlapping the burn town area. So you can't have like two yellow markers I guess at the same place. So instead of burn town I'll be using the Bart's crossing map for this video but you can use either of those two and if you don't have either of those two don't worry you can proceed you can just skip a, skip ahead just skip this step and then watch the next part of the video and you can also use this method for like any other uh, maps like the citadel rock the hanging rock so you can do this with any map you like but the Bard's Crossing and the Burn Down is the best, like solo, uh, I mean, solo treasure map glitch. So that's why we are, so preferably use those two, like I said, if you have. So first of all, open the Bard's Crossing or the Burn Down treasure map and collect the treasure chest. Go to the search area and then open the treasure chest and then collect the gold bar and also the cash and whatever else you get from the treasure chest. Also apologies for not mentioning this earlier, it's another requirement for this glitch. You will be needing the wilderness camp for this method. So wilderness camp basically lets you fast travel from any location. Uh, so usually like you need to visit a fast travel point to uh, fast travel to a different location, but with the wilderness camp you can fast travel from anywhere. So we are going to be taking advantage of the wilderness camp. So as you can see, I collected my treasure. I got 1.29 gold bars, 130 bucks, and a potent health cure, and some repeater ammo. So this is where the new method kicks in. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to open up your map, and then you'll want to go to any NPC, like which has a uh, blood money symbol on it, like a dollar a dollar symbol on the NPC so there's one right here guy name guy's name is Joe so he, he can either fast travel to Emerald Station or Rhodes because there's two of those strangers close to those uh, mentioned towns so first of all I'll be visiting Emerald Station I'll be visiting Joe <laughs> and I will tell you what to do next all right, so once you visit the NPC, aim at him and then select blood money missions. 
and then you'll want to play any crime you want doesn't matter which one uh, the cleaning house is the easiest one in my opinion you just have to search a loot within like a small search area in the house and then basically deliver the loot to a drop off zone so don't worry these missions don't take long they take only about like a, they only take about two minutes max so these are very short these are basically to collect capitelli but we are not doing this for capitelli we are doing this to get ourselves a solo lobby which will help in getting the same treasure map that we just opened all right so you'll just want to finish the mission as fast as you can which will take you about two minutes max like i said so most of the time the objective will be the same take the valuables to the dead drop so you have to deliver this bag to the drop off it's like really close by from where you pick it up so deliver it and what happens when you finish the mission like you get placed in a temporary solo lobby so you'll have about like 25 to 30 seconds to lock yourself in a solo lobby so right now as you can see i finished the mission and if i go to my players list so if i press left on the d-pad as you can see any time now so as you can see i'm alone i was trying to hurry up because you only have about 25 to 30 seconds like i said be before it becomes populated again so this is where we are going to use the wilderness camp but sometimes the like when the mission ends it will place you in a town uh close to a fast travel point so in case that happens just go to the fast travel point you don't need to use the wilderness camp all right so after you set up your wilderness camp just fast travel to your camp and as you can see i'm still in a solo lobby so now we are going to go to the butcher stable crips butcher stable and we are going to start a distant delivery all right so when the delivery mission starts you'll want to get off the wagon and then you want to call their horse and go to the marker that we placed in the beginning of this video i'll be showing you the exact marker like the marker wasn't 100 uh, percent accurate but i will be marking the accurate location in a bit so you want to head towards this marker right here so if you are wondering why i started the like delivery mission because as long as you have a timer on your screen you will be locked in the solo lobby so this map right here it won't spawn if you're in a populated lobby so we, we do need a solo lobby so let me so my marker was way off as you can see apologies again so this is the accurate location this lonely tree right here and as you can see there is a map again like i said it appears only in a solo lobby very rarely does it like uh appear in a populated lobby so keep an eye out on the right side of your screen it's not just any map it's the bart's crossing map that we just opened now right here this is the most important part you'll want to disconnect from the internet because if you don't you will enter a cooldown for three days and you won't find any treasure maps for three days real life days that is and after this just rinse and repeat the process all right so here's another quick little example so just go to a blood money stranger uh, do one of the crimes finish your crime as fast as you can and then as soon as you finish the mission you'll be in a temporary solo lobby open up your weapon wheel and then press r1 to go to items and on the bottom slot you will see your wilderness camp so fast travel from your wilderness camp to your camp and then just repeat the and then just go to the marker and you will get this map right here now your camp location might change because you'll be like in a populated lobby when you relaunch the game but don't worry as long as you do the steps you will be farming infinite gold bars and money so let me know in the comments if you have any doubts and i forgot to show you the part where i opened the treasure chest again but that wasn't really necessary you know how it works but again see you guys next in the next one take care bye bye and peace out